I've been gone from YouTube for a little while now, so I just wanted to sit down, make a video, and say, hey, this is what I've been up to. Um, you know, just give it a little bit of update because I've had so many people who have followed this channel say, hey man, where you at? Where, where's the videos? I would love to see more content, love your stuff. With all of that, this is what I've been up to. had our ins and outs and ups and downs um, in the beginning of the pandemic when everything just went boom full stop nothing going on no one is working it was the craziest thing ever it was like film and making creative things will never be again this was like when nobody was out it was like filming 28 days later this was at the state where nothing was going on nobody was doing anything at all it didn't matter what industry you were on it was just full halt full shutdown we didn't know what the hell was going on so in that point i don't live in a cheap place at all if you live in los angeles if you live in new york san francisco you get the picture you understand that, you know, it costs money to live. So at this point, uh, here I am, I got a job at Amazon. And listen, I don't care what job you do. As long as you are working, you know, I got, I got mad respect for you. Now I say that because I took this job at Amazon, right? And here I am at what we thought was like the end of the fucking world, the end of days, and I'm blessed to have a job that will at least help put food in my mouth, put a roof over my head, and continue to pay some of the bills at the time, but holy crap, it fucking took everything out of me. It, it was the most depressing thing, like it was like somebody had like taken away my entire identity, and a lot of that was wrapped up in Sean Boyd, the director of photography who wants to be a director one day, you know, you get the point. And a lot of it was in film. And over the past year and a half with, with starting there, right, um, I've come a long damn way. And at the time, it was like, this is the worst thing that could ever happen. And it was a huge psychological thing but I was able to get back on track. But with that, I learned a, a huge lesson is that there is life beyond film, guys. There is life beyond what your hobbies, your passions, your careers are and everything. And I think that that grounded me a lot more to understand um, what it is Three, I'm trying to two, accomplish in all this. one, action. I gotta get out. When, when you when you think that this is all gonna be gone and you get it back, you will do anything in your power to say, fuck no, I am never going back to work for Amazon, for anybody else. I work so damn hard to become a freelancer, to be able to do what I do and work with amazing people, to get up every day and not know what the fuck is gonna happen, to get up every day and say, I can wear whatever I want, I can say whatever I want, I can work with who I want and when I want, and that's an amazing privilege that we're able to do here. And to be able to have that taken away, and then when you finally get it back, it was like, I'm not going back there. My ass is staying in filmmaking. So pretty much after that, you know, you name it, I've been on so many different productions with so many great people, everything, working on uh, commercials, music videos, which is primarily mostly what I do for work. And then most importantly, I worked on a couple shorts and, that is the whole reason that I ever got into filmmaking was to work on narrative films, uh, you know, things that you watch in the movies, things that you watch on Netflix at home with your family and stuff like that. So I started to work on more narrative projects. They weren't really my projects. They were projects that I was the cinematographer for. And I always just felt a strong difference of opinions in the story matter, the content, the direction of where they were going. And after doing about two or three of them with directors, you know, I was very thankful for their time and the opportunity to do these. But it really finally pushed the momentum after years of wanting to do narrative projects to, well, do my own. So. For the past eight and a half months, between now and then, I've obviously had so many professional gigs, but for the past eight and a half months, I've been working on my own uh, short film, um, which is gonna be coming out later on next year. It's called Waiting for Deja. I have been working on that project with so, so, so many talented people who have dedicated their time, the amount of resources, partnerships, uh, 
you know, you name it that we have gotten for this thing is fucking mind blowing and I am so blessed. I cannot wait to show you guys more excerpts from this film. So that's something that's really been taking along a lot of my time and it's a really a big reason why I haven't been on YouTube making content and uh, doing that whole thing. So. That's really where my focus is going and that's, you know, really what's been going on since the beginning of this whole entire fucking nightmare until right now and I'm just so happy that we're right on the finish line uh, with this project and that's really my, you know, main focus in life right now is finishing that film, uh, making more in the future and showing you guys more of a behind the scenes look at that um, and kind of just transitioning away from gear talk and camera talk and everything. That's great and there was a time for that and I'm a big gear nut if you know me I like playing with new toys and everything but from now on I'd like to talk you know more behind the scenes look on the more artistic side of things, things that aren't generally talked about, I guess you could say. So that's really where I'd like to be taking things from now on. So I hope you guys are doing some great things in and of yourself. I think the past year was a big fucking wake up call to crush it, you know, chase your dreams, do what you can because we only have such limited time uh, and enjoy your life. You know, there's so much negative shit out there. There's so much darkness in the world that we can all talk about for endless endless days but at the end of the day it'll never make you happy you know it, it really won't so focus on that it doesn't and I'm not just talking about filmmaking like I said there's life on, beyond filmmaking focus on what makes you happy focus on what makes you fulfilled and what is gonna you know make you create experiences that last because we don't know where the world is going at all and that's about as deep as I'll get into that topic because I want to keep it positive so uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope you guys are well most importantly take care I'll see you next time